What's up guys, it's Jaco and welcome back to another GTA 6 breakdown video. Now, I would like to quickly remind you guys, I cannot show any gameplay because Take-Two Interactive will then have the legal right to strike it down or claim the video. And if they strike it down, then the video ceases to exist. So I'd like to quickly remind you guys that I cannot show any gameplay in this video. But the gameplay I will be mostly talking about is the three minute clip of the diner or restaurant robbery with both of our protagonists. If you guys would like to see more GTA 6 breakdown videos or some of these clips broken down, uh, send me them over on Twitter. You can find my Twitter in the description if you'd like to check that out. Or just follow me. I don't use it a whole lot, but it's an easy way to contact me if you guys would like to. And send me some of the new GTA 6 clips and leaks that you guys would like to see broken down. Or some ideas that you guys have. Just uh, let me know over there on Twitter. And if you guys end up liking some of these GTA 6 concept or breakdown videos, I can continue them for sure. So uh, drop a like and comment. Your feedback down below would be much appreciated. As you guys know, earlier today we were shocked. The entire world was shocked that GTA 6 actually exists and the gameplay is actually out there and has officially been leaked and has also officially been confirmed by Rockstar Games himself that it was indeed Grand Theft Auto 6 gameplay. It kind of sucks for the developers and everyone working on it that... This happened. It honestly does suck that the leaker did do this, but after all, they worked really hard on it. They're guaranteed everything that this game will, you know, make profit wise. They're guaranteed all that. Though it is kind of satisfying that we get to see a little bit now. I would have much rather had Rockstar officially themselves kind of make a trailer or something else of uh, you know, of, of the game, but I will still take whatever we can get at this point. Like I mentioned, I'm talking about the hold up diner robbery or the restaurant robbery and one of the things that i notice is that they are taking a lot of inspiration from the red dead series and some of the sandbox gameplay elements from that game and they're definitely bringing it over to gta 6. one of the things that i notice is that when you ads or aim your gun in this case a pistol as the female protagonist towards the guy at the counter behind the cash register it gives you the option to press triangle to rob just like in red dead 2 and as they were going around the entire restaurant or the diner they could ads aim at um customers and rob them as well just like a train robbery in red dead which is incredibly exciting obviously you can do this on the streets most likely you can walk into any diner or uh gas station and probably rob it it looks like a free mode event where you can just kind of go in and freely rob it as well as long as you like rob every uh, customer in there there was a ton of customers in there all reacting with animations it all looked really really great for pre pre alpha gameplay footage that we saw from apparently we heard sources from that this gameplay that we got leaked was a year or two old so even now the gameplay has improved probably a bunch in the past year or two now about halfway through the footage the female protagonist the character being played then executes one of the customers and then they have the option to both loot and carry the body which is again from red dead 2 which is one of the most awesome sandbox features in all of gaming it's just fun to just pick up the bodies so it sounds kind of weird in a real life sense but in the game it's fun you could pick up your friends and then you could hopefully i think it'd be really cool you could put them in trunks or you can uh, just just carry them around or maybe there's uh god i know there's just unlimited possibilities hopefully that rocks are put into this uh, body carrying system and maybe you can carry it around and just have some fun with it put them in trunks of vehicles vans i think it'd be a lot a lot of fun as well as looting you can get some money off the corpses or unconscious bodies maybe you can get their watches their purses or something like that and then go to a pawn shop and then later sell it i think that'd be another cool little option like they did with the fence in the red dead redemption series i know that i keep bringing up red dead because a lot of these gameplay inspirations are probably from that game and they look really really good so far so it's just something to you know think of when we're thinking of in this grand theft auto sense Another thing that I did notice right before the main character protagonist, Lucia is her name, L-U-C-I-A, and the other male protagonist's name is Jason, so Lucia and Jason will be the playable characters. I wanted to mention that as well. That was also leaked within the gameplay. Lucia, after executing, or before executing, sorry, one of the customers, she has the option to restrain the customer as a hostage, and then they, um, I believe they, I don't know how they tie their hands behind their back, whether it be zip ties, a rope or something, 
something, but that is also a possibility. From there, I couldn't tell if they were able to pick up the body afterwards, though they are still conscious, but they are tied. Could they pick them up like a hog tied person in Red Dead and carry them around and then put them in the trunk while they're still alive or still conscious? That could also be a lot of fun, I think, especially in GTA 6 Online. You and your friends pick up an NPC and just knock them out and then throw them in your trunk. I think that could just be really, really fun gameplay features that we have never seen in a Grand Theft Auto game, and I think it'd be awesome. Now, a little bit about the AI, which I thought was incredibly interesting after watching it a few times, is that since there are hostages, some tied up, some not, most of the hostages are not running out of the building screaming, being AIs, being NPCs, you know? They're, they're legitimately terrified, they're staying still, they don't want to get shot and killed because, you know, they saw the protagonist execute someone earlier in the clip. With all that being said, the cops have been dispatched to the diner and to the location which they are then sitting outside, but the cops do not engage with our protagonists Jason, Jason and Lucia until they leave the restaurant because there are hostages in there that could be caught in a crossfire. And uh, you know, it's just a kind of more of a real life scenario that is really really immersive is that the cops do not engage until Lucia and Jason enter the or sorry leave the diner when they know the hostages are safe and then they can finally take out the bad guys in this case our male male and female protagonists as they make their escape they do steal a police car but before they steal the police car you do notice the cops ai seeking for cover shooting from cover you know you know making sure that they keep themselves alive because after all you know in an immersive standpoint they are still human and they want to you know get out of this alive they're not npcs where they're just running around free aggressively running at you guns blazing they want to stay alive and they're you know seeking cover they're being a lot smarter though it's still probably not going to be the brightest npcs of all time you can just still shoot them you know but they do look like they do value their life a little bit more as police officers that's about all I have. Like I said, the three minute diner hold up clip is what I base this video off of. So if you guys wanna send me more clips over on Twitter, be sure to do so. I'd love to keep doing these breakdown videos. Unfortunately, I can't show the clips because take two will strike me down, but it's still a lot of fun to look at some of this gameplay and see what they're adding, especially the interiors look fantastic. The details within the diner, that all the ketchup bottles and uh, soda machines, shit just looks absolutely fantastic, guys. I can't believe it's finally out, well, at least some footage of the game actually being used. It is incredible, so let me know if you guys want to see more concepts or just detailed breakdowns of this game, of some of the clips that we have so far. I would love to do so, so let me know down below with a comment, dropping a like, and subscribing down below also helps out a ton. And that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please remember to drop a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.